test it real quick. Yep. She's got the motor plate in the mail. I got it sitting right here. I went with aluminum, you know, quarter inch. Sit that right here. I made my cutout for it already. Looks pretty good, right? Yeah. But uh, immediately I, I noticed that these headers are definitely not gonna work that way. But I can flip them up the other way and they'll be fine. I got plenty of room on both sides still. I haven't started making my firewall. So that's where it's at right now. I'm about to start. I'm gonna flip my headers around, do them facing or swooped up, facing forward still, and see what all I need to trim or cut. And then I'm gonna start using the, uh, the cardboard to start cutting and trimming and everything. And then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna set it up and do a time-lapse type deal. Uh <laughs> Audio Jungle. So with the motor plate, the headers, the headers aren't even bolts at all in the other way. I just threw a couple bolts in there real quick just to hold it. I think it's gonna look so good in here. But with the motor plate, all this is gonna get cleaned up. Like that's just 
I just hacked it up just to get the motor in. And then once I have all my mounts made, this motor is actually getting taken out and taken straight to the machine shop. And it's gonna get rebuilt and doing all kinds of stuff to it. So this is a running motor, but I, I don't I don't like using old crap. I'm beefing it up myself. So yep. So y'all just stay tuned for some more content to come. Super excited. Uh, as always, thank you, Jonathan Iser at Windsor. Had a lot, had a lot of help with him and JD Arbuckle. He uh, helped me out with some video stuff, so I appreciate that. And of course, S Chassis District on Instagram. Y'all check him out. Um, he's got a lot of followers and got really good shirts. Really like it. Y'all check it out. All right, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, definitely come back for more. See y'all next time.